much. Who yeah. would you rather have on your team? Prime Shaq or Prime Curry? So I'm Prime Curry first. would be like 2016 when they won 73 games and he was just yeah. unstoppable, right? And Prime yeah. Shaq, I'm guessing, would be 2000. I don't know what you I'm, I'm not old. Whenever he was good. <laughs> we um, all know that he was good at one point. Just... I'm, I'm taking Prime Shaq. I just don't think there was anything even close to Prime Shaq. He was actually... Mm-hmm. Yeah, also preface in today's NBA as well. Yeah, I'm today's still... NBA. In today's NBA, maybe even more so. Because I don't mm-hmm. think anybody can yeah. fucking guard him in today's NBA. Who's going to who's gonna stop Prime Shaq right now? James Harden. Go Bear. Yeah. Today's one. <laughs> yeah. James Rudy Gobert. Yeah, Rudy Gobert couldn't even <laughs> stop, uh, you know, his like nose from sneezing. So, what's he gonna do? What, to is stop? That? what do you mean by I, that? I don't know. I've got a noodle brain that? right now. <laughs> a, a, Rudy, Rudy Gobert been... couldn't stop a cold. Uh, True. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, he's I'm Rudy Gobert. Kind of, you know, started COVID. That's where, that's where I was going with that. Okay. Um, people forget. People forget it. that. People forget um, that Rudy Gobert was patient zero. Yeah, people do forget that, <laughs> and I'm here to remind them of that. Uh, I just, I, I just I think say- Prime Shaq was just way too dominant, and I think that mm. not saying that Prime Curry isn't super dominant, but because he obviously is, but I think you can I don't know, slow him down a little bit. Uh, I, I don't think you can slow down Shaq whatsoever in his prime. Here, here's the. Th- Here's the thing, because you said it was today's NBA, I have to go with Shaq because look at the people who are dominant right now in the game. You got Embiid, you got Joker. Uh, Joker. Um, Those are the top I mean, all, two in the, all, in Giannis, the final yeah, in the race. And Shaq Giannis, said I mean, all of these are that if he was in the NBA today, he thinks that he would play like Giannis does. Yeah. I mean I, I think he'd be better than Giannis right now, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um to be honest. And, and I, I don't think that's a hot take, but I mean, like, seriously, like there's a lot of players who can shoot the three, not, not, and I'm not saying they can shoot the three like Curry, but there's not enough players that are like Shaq, like Embiid, like Joker, like Giannis that can replace that big man, bully ball, get you the easy two, dunk over your head. There's just not enough of those. So that's why I got to take Shaq easy on that one. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little mind bender here. I think if you look at the top players, right, they're scoring a large amount of their points from the free throw line. Shaq isn't, you know, Shaq is not dropping points. I think they're drawing fouls off Shaq all day because he's just massive, and you just run into him and pretend like you're shooting, and then fall to the ground and act like you broke your back. You know, I think Shaq would get. I think people would draw so many fouls off him. I don't think Shaq would... Shaq's not the type to really draw a foul. Um, no, I, I just, think the opposite. It, he is. They had to, they made a whole game plan for him called Hack-A-Shack to, to try to stop him, where you would just send a player to just foul out against him, basically, because him shooting free throws <laughs> was a better chance at stopping him than... Exactly, like, but that's the score. thing, because he can't make these free throws. Like, I don't... But then that puts your team in the bonus. Like he was yeah. just like a immovable force in his prime. Mm-hmm. Like just no one, literally no one could stop him. I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless yeah, maybe you had like curious. prime Wilt against prime Shaq. Like that, that's I would really be the only other guy in to... NBA history. I think that maybe Russell. Yeah. I would be curious to see though, uh, like how people would guard him in today's NBA. It'd be exactly like they do with Embiid or, or any of those guys we listed off earlier, where they're just try your best, man. Yeah. Like see what you can do. Um, but you're probably he's probably going to end up getting yeah, twenty to thirty on the night, anyways. Pounds on Embiid or those guys who just walk out. Oh my god, he's back. He could back down so many people. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's also an interesting question of like what, like how much has the NBA really evolved? You know. Oh, so I, much. So I, I think I would. I, I think I'm going to check. Go I, check. I think the argument for Curry potentially is culture. Like he's created mm-hmm. that whole winning culture in, mm-hmm. in Golden State and been the face of that. Whereas like Shaq, uh, you know, obviously Kobe didn't like how uncommitted he is. Like I think that if you're taking Shaq, you kind of know you only have him in his prime for so long. Like Curry's had a really long prime because you know of his commitment level and 
you know, he's obviously seems like a pretty upstanding guy and like the guy that you'd want as the leader of your team. I, I think that's what really can change the question in Curry's favor too, is if instead of saying like, would you rather have just like on a one-off, I think if the question was more like, who would you rather build a team around? That's when you right, start asking, okay, right. maybe, maybe Curry, because at least you can, you can guarantee as long as Curry is like, moderately happy or at least confident in the front office he's going to stick around for a while um, whereas Shaq you know like you're mentioning his commitment levels you can't really predict 